Hello everyone, it's Natasha from Treasure Books. In today's video, we will be turning regular pens into fancy pens. We will be making beaded pens like these, altered pens, and blingy fancy pens like these. They are gorgeous additions to your handmade journals. They make a fun little gift idea, and they sprinkle a touch of joy into everyday life. And they're fun and easy to make. All right, let's get started. Okay, so for the beatable pens, obviously these pens are way too thick. There's no beads that can sort of fit over the top. So first thing we'll need to do is remove the ink cartridge. Now, keep the casings. Don't throw these away because I do have a video on how you can use these in your projects. Here is just one quick little idea on how I use the empty casings. And for these blingy kind of pens, you don't need to remove the ink cartridge. Uh, we will get to this later, but for now we're doing the beatable pens. So all pens are different. And one thing to keep in mind is when you look at your little cartridge here, some of these are straight down. There's no stopping here. There's nothing to stop the bead. And then you can see this one here. There's this part here to stop the bead. So we will discuss how you can make both of these work so that's kind of the first thing to have a look at and there are also these kinds of pens this one happens to be a gel pen but gel pens in general have really thick ink cartridges inside thicker than um, the standard pens which can be a little bit of a challenge uh, finding beads with a big enough opening to fit on those so i, I haven't bothered with gel pens but what i wanted to mention is some pens that have this cap here and in this pen here you can see i've left the cap on i've utilized the cap so that's another thing we're going to talk about but for now the next thing that you need is like i've just mentioned beads with a big enough opening and this can be a challenge i have plenty of beads but these are pretty much all of the beads that i have that have a wide enough opening in order to fit onto the cartridges that I have. So you simply go through your beads and see what can actually be beaded onto your ink cartridge. Okay, I have a selection here and just so you can see, you know, with the ink cart the cartridge that doesn't have the stopper at the end, the bead is just going to fly off, right? Whereas this kind of a cartridge has a stopper at the end and some beads won't even go all the way to the edge so I have to search for a bead that's going to actually go all the way down here and this one this bead doesn't have a wide enough opening uh, another thing please keep in mind when you're doing this don't force the bead onto this part here because this is going to fly off and all the ink is going to come out and I'm speaking from experience here. So you can see this bead, for example, is way too big. It just goes over the whole thing. So anyway, this is the part where it just really depends on what you have in your stash. Okay, I selected all of the beads that are going to go onto my ink cartridge. And now I'm simply going to stack them on. And like I said, I want this first bead to go all the way down. Here we go. So... At this stage, this is all personal choice, how you're going to do it. If you want to be adding glue in between the beads, that's perfectly fine. If you have E6000, that will probably be the best option. I don't have E6000. So some of my pens, I actually use super glue. Some I've used whatever glue I have really. And others, I didn't use any glue. And I'm actually not going to use any glue on the one that I make today. Perhaps, oh, another glue that I use is a hot glue with my hot hot glue gun and I'm going to use that glue on the end of this pen because finishing off the beads is the challenge here. Beading them on is not a challenge at all.
Okay, as you can see, I have popped all of the beads onto the ink cartridge. And now this is the challenge, like I said, like how do you keep them on there? What do you do to secure the beads in place? The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to chop off this little extra piece of plastic that I have sticking up. And there we go. So I just want it to be level with that last bead. It doesn't have to be, but I just like all of that cartridge to be hidden. Next thing I'm going to do is just sit this up. I'm using a, a bit of styrofoam here and I can just kind of make a hole to keep my pen sitting upright. So first I'm using this flat, I don't know what it's called, but they usually come with the eye like this. I, I will Google it in a moment and tell you the proper names. Or they have this flat back. It's like a little pin, right? For jewelry making. Okay, I just did a quick Google search and they're quite inexpensive, these things, and they're called head pins, basically. And you have the eye head pins with the little things here. You can attach charms and then you have the flat end head pins. But anyway, this is what I'm using. And you probably don't even need to use this. You can just hot glue a bead on top or something like that. But you have to really make sure to secure everything down, all of the beads, which might be a good idea to use a glue in between each bead all right moving along this is what i'm going to do i'm going to pop one little bead on there and then i'm using a bead cap you don't need to use all of these fancy things i have this because i find them at facebook marketplace and so on but anyway this is where you can get creative with the things that you do have you don't need any of this to make this project work but this is what I'm doing. And now this is going to go on top of here. And that's what my pen is going to look like. But there's one very important thing that I wanted to point out. You can see how that pin, when I popped it in there to show you, has touched the ink and there's a little bit of ink on there. It's really no big deal when it's only a little bit of ink. But if I was to pop this whole long pin inside of my ink cartridge, all of this will be swimming in ink and if you have to take it out to apply a little bit more glue and to readjust or something you know you just need to take it out for a moment for whatever reason ink everywhere and it's happened so what i now do to avoid that problem is i check when everything is the way i want it and i'm happy with all the beads placing and everything and i know what i'm going to do i check that pin where it's going to go to and then I trim it down, which I've already done to this pin. I've already trimmed it down because I don't want this to be swimming in there. Okay. All right. So my hot glue gun is hot and ready to go. I am using this fancy gold glue. And I realize that you may not have the gold glue. You might have the clear glue, which is fine. It dries kind of clear anyway again you just use what you have if you have e6000 even better because that's going to dry completely clear and now i just want to glue all of these layers down even though it's not really necessary it's just i like to make sure everything is nice and secure and with the hot glue gun you have to work really quickly and it's a little bit difficult filming and looking at what's going on down here at the same time but it will We'll make it work all right so now that that's all kind of glued together i like to bend this just to, it's already bent from all the things i was doing but i like to bend it just a little bit so when i pop it inside the cartridge it's not just sitting straight down it's actually creating a little bit of resistance a little bit of extra what how should we call it reinforcement for, for this to stay in place and this is what i meant before when i said you know if you have a really long pin and then you have to take it in and out then you know you're going to have ink all over the place so here's what i mean like if i you can see that there it's kind of like scratching onto the side and even without doing anything else that doesn't come off like even without applying any glue just by doing that it makes it stay in place. But of course, if you use force, you can pull it out. So it's just an extra little precautionary step that we can take. And also another thing that I'm going to do is apply hot glue just over the top here. I might even apply hot glue on this bead.
There we go, just a bit of hot glue up there holding that bead in place. And now I will apply right here on top. It's kind of closing that hole. And we will discuss the flow, the ink flow in a moment. I just need to re work real quick here. All right, so here's what I have up close and you can see a little imperfection. So we can fi fix all of that now at this stage. All I want really is for my paint to be secure and it is. So now what I'm gonna do is, you know what? I'm just gonna add a whole bunch of glue around here. Okay, one last thing that I want to do is add a little something on there. I just have this bead with a little attachment point, so I might as well use it. And I'm going to use this little old earring, actually. And here we go. I'm going to call that one done. I have a little charm on there. The pen is looking quite good. I'm quite happy with how it looks. And now I just wanted to mention about the ink flow. In order for the ink to flow out, as you write, uh, there needs to be a little bit of air in the cartridge. If you completely seal this off and you completely fill this up, let's say, with glue, it's going to impede. There's no flow of air that's going to help move the ink down as you write. I was a little bit worried about doing it the way that I've done it here with the hot glue over the top of the bead and then I popped the pin through. But... I have to say that I, all of these pens that I've done, there's no issue with the ink flow. I don't know if it's going to take maybe a year uh, t for it to be affected. I really don't think so, to be honest, because I feel like by popping the pin through, especially if it's curved at the end, we're creating airflow in there uh, rather than as opposed to if I would just fill this up with glue and just leave it sealed. No, I think that would be an issue. All right, uh, that's out of the way. I want to make one more pen, perhaps speed it up version, and then we'll move on to the other stuff. That's how it's looking so far. And now for the top bit, I'm going to do this beautiful bead. All right, so this is how it's going to look. First thing I want to do is I'm going to glue this top bead onto that bottom there. That's what that looks like. And now, first I'm gonna make that little thing at the end. And I'm gonna test it out. All right, test is completed and that's the perfect amount of curvature needed. And now I might glue these two together, why not? I probably could use super glue. Super glue is very, very efficient, but it does glue your fingers together too, and I don't want that to happen on camera, so I'm not using super glue today. But I was using it yesterday, and I used it with my gloves, and it was perfect. All right, a little bit of hot glue in here. This is really hard to do with the phone in my way, I have to say. And now, instead of applying hot glue right over the top of this bead, I'm just going to pop it all in there. I'm going to fill this up with hot glue and kind of, kind of let it seep out, you know, as it... Or maybe just I'll let it... Uh, I'll, I'll hope for the best. It's filled up with glue. And here's the final result. You can see that glue seeping out, which is... Adds the charm because the glue is glittery gold glue, but perhaps it wouldn't look so nice if it was clear glue. I mean, clear hot glue because it does dry a little bit opaque. All right, one last thing I'm going to do is add this charm, and this one is done. I love how it turned out. Now, as I was saying before with the glue, if you don't have this sparkly glue, it really, it doesn't matter. You can just use any glue that dries clear. It's going to look good. Uh, the main thing is that you want your beads to be secured, especially the top ones here. You don't want them kind of flying out. But you can see, well, you probably can't see. I'm going to point it out and just speak about some of the different things that I did on these pens. So you can see this one here. I use the eye pin up the top and I have my charm hanging off the top. You don't have to have anything hanging. You don't have to have a charm like this one. No charm, just some beads on there and then, you know, the, the whole shebang up the top. So this one here, I used hot glue in all of the sections in between. 
uh, not all like here I just used clear glue and then this one there's no glue whatsoever so the beads do move I'm trying to remember what I did this this one here the beads don't move because I used glue I actually use this glue and basically I just read what it says at the back and if it says that it's gonna glue plastic that's your glue because these beads are plastic and you just need something that, and of course the cartridge is plastic so you need something a glue that says it's gonna glue plastic and you can just use that look how cool these look I think they're just so beautiful and I just love them so much now in terms of functionality let's be honest this regular standard pen is going to be more comfortable to write with if you're going to be writing essays if you're going to be writing four pages of long hand you know writing maybe this is not the most comfortable pen to use but sometimes you know we have to like this has to be said runners are always more comfortable than stilettos and people still wear high heels so you know this is kind of the same thing right uh, but it does most definitely do the job right it does the job look at that and it, it's it feels feels good now i know there's probably going to be comments saying that you can buy beatable pens you can buy pens that are specifically made for you to add your own beads onto and basically they have a casing that's about this long and then the cartridge sticking out and you can do your own beads that, that's where i got this idea I loved the idea of beatable pens, but I didn't want to go and buy the things. I did not want to do that. So that's where this idea came from. But if you are wondering, uh, you know, if you don't want to go through all, the, all of this trouble, you can buy the beatable pens. I'll see if I can insert photo here so that you can see what they look like. Okay, moving along. Another thing that I wanted to mention, of course, you might come into this kind of a problem where your pen, your cartridge doesn't have the stopper at the end. And in fact, this pen here is the one you can see all of these. They have that kind of an end with the stopper. This one doesn't. It's one of these. So I'll show you what I did. Grab a little bit of double sided tape and just kind of wrap it around the bottom part of the pen just like that by the way if you want to mess around with this kind of thing if your beads have large enough openings you can also do the double-sided tape and then add your bead my beads don't have large enough openings so when I do that it just kind of scrunches up the double-sided tape but it will be really cool to have that extra little bit of stickiness inside the bead you know and still do what we've done so far anyway let's stick with this now we have the double-sided tape on there next thing you want to do is just grab a little bit of ribbon you can use just paper <laughs> you can use whatever we're just going to wrap a little bit of ribbon onto the double-sided tape just like so you don't need too much you just need a little bit of ribbon and now of course you have to secure this other side and you can do that by using glue which i tried to do but it kind of kept unraveling so i'll show you what i did and i feel I feel it's more secure doing it the way I'm about to show you rather than just applying glue on there. So I like the look of the wrapped around string. I'll show you up close. There's the wrapped around string. I really love that. And of course you can grab any one of your pens that you've maybe made while watching this video. I don't know. You can apply a little bit of double sided tape and just wrap if you have, especially if you have this kind of a gold string but anyway let me show you what i did thread your thread onto the needle and tie a knot here at the end and do keep watching because that's how i did this pen as well so it's not just you know this part this section of the tutorial i guess and then find your little thing well of course and start from the inside mine has started unraveling so it's kind of anyway start here on the inside so that your knot is hidden inside it's right there so it's not going to be seen and then wrap around and then it's pretty self-explanatory just start wrapping i don't know why these little strings are coming up they're from that ribbon probably didn't choose the best ribbon so i'm going to trim all of that off and then just keep wrapping really however much you want this is all going overboard now but you want to leave enough string so that you can tie some knots so what i do basically is come back through probably should have left a little bit extra string 
just go through some of the strings and tie a knot maybe wrap some more and repeat and then just cut off that string and you have basically created a stopper and then you will just go ahead and proceed to do the exact same thing that we've previously done all right here we go this one got two charms um, i'm just using what i have on hand so there's that one done lovely okay now one more look at all of them together i think they look beautiful i love them absolutely love them now the next thing i wanted to uh, discuss is this one this one is actually a combination of the beatable pens and then what i did just previously with the wrapping of the thread around ribbon so this one looks chunky and it's probably a little bit more comfortable to write with because it's so uniform rather than a bumpy all the way up to the top so i did this the same way i actually took the cartridge out of the casing and i looped one bead or threaded rather one bead onto the cartridge and then all of this here is just ribbon and thread wrapped around and you can actually do this on a pen that's i mean that's not you know separated you can you can fancy up your pen by leaving the cartridge in the casing the only thing is you can't have any beads on there you can just do beautiful threads so just for some inspiration i want to show you what i used i have this ribbon you can see there this is the ribbon that i used but then i did the thread over the top because it's very hard to glue this kind of a ribbon down and then you can see a little bit of glue seeping through so a little bit of thread always goes a long way and actually i have a little uh, this is my inspiration piece this was sent to me in happy mail and this is like a fabric uh, i forgot what they're called now but you can see that this here is i don't know if you can see it i'll point it out this is wire wrapped around rather than thread and it's actually held down by a little bit of hot glue you can just see a tiny little bit of hot glue there and in fact all of them are held down with a little bit of hot glue and you can't really see i mean you have to you can see there you have to stare at it but that's also an option i was contemplating using you know wire and stuff like that but i decided to use thread instead so you just basically just wrap wrap some stuff around your pen like this you can do double-sided tape and then wrap and then do the string just like i did in this pen here and then once that's done then you continue with the second one and then you do the third one and on and on you go like i started this project with the beatable pens but then other things pop into your head and other ideas and i really want to explore this a little bit further and just make a whole heap of these pens but do remember you also need to kind of close off the top uh, it kind of well if you're leaving it in the casing i suppose you're gonna see that kind of a, a, an end to the pen which is not too bad and then you can glue on a bead you can perhaps do something like this and then nestle a bead inside i'm gonna spend a bit more time making these pens because i really love that look i love them i love them all and then of course another way that you can fancy up your pens and bling them up is just by blinging them up these pens are left in their casings and i'm pretty sure that you can already work out what i did but just in case if you want to see basically i just glued down sections of bling right and usually this type of bling comes on acetate like this so it's not individual little pieces that i was gluing down i was gluing down whole sections like this and i started off with using the super glue so this is where i started and then i would apply my super glue all across you have to work quite fast because super glue dries very very quickly and then you glue your thing on and be careful not to glue your hands on there as well because that can happen too and then i did that same thing on the other side and then i was just using all different ones and that i have all different types of bling to kind of fill in you know the whole pen and i did this less late last night i probably could make this even better because you can see all of these little gaps in between i don't know like do you feel like going in and gluing in individual beads in there i do i'll do it right now if i wasn't filming so 
just depends how excited you are about this project. This one here is uh, this. Maybe you will have something like this in your stash, stash, like a little bit of beautiful material. This is like a blingy mesh type thing that I found at a $2 shop. You can use maybe something like this, a fabric, adhesive fabric squares it's called, but you can make your own. You know, just glue fabric on double-sided tape and then you put it on your project. Um, but, you know, there's plenty of ways that you can go about this, but this is a really, really quick and simple way. This, the beaded pens take a little bit more work because you have to find the beads and then you have to work out what beads go where and how you're going to have it looking. Whereas this, you just wrap something around and i used super glue and then this piece wasn't long enough you can see you could kind of see the edges of the pen so i went in with this bling up the top you see that there and also down the bottom and done <laughs> easy peasy this is what i'm talking about you start off with one idea which is the beatable pens or the beaded pens and then it takes you to the next thing and then it takes you to the next thing and then it takes you to the next thing now i'm just joking that's all i have to show you today so i think this is where i'm going to leave this video for today i really love this idea and i love the fact that these pens look very boho-ish i feel like they would go so well with the boho journal look at that oh, i wish i had one to show you but i don't I think they'll go with, well with any journal, but I love the look, the boho feel. And then these are all just very fancy, very girly kind of, you know, but uh, it appeals to me. Maybe not this one so much, but this one that most definitely appeals to me quite a bit. I love gold. Anyway, let me know which one is your favorite, or which style I suppose is your favorite. Let me know if you've tried this, if you are going to try it. I think it's a, a the, the project is a whole lot of fun once you kind of know how to overcome the hurdles and the main hurdle for me of course was finishing off the tops and i did find that quite challenging like how do i you know i was worried about the ink flow and then i was doing all sorts of research on that and then i was trying out all different things so hopefully by watching this video now you feel a bit more confident that's supposed to dive into this craft <laughs> All right, anyway, thank you so much for watching and let me know what you think and I will see you in my next video. Bye.